by a booth that had fried Oreos. Saw the sign, never got one. I've been dreaming about ever since. When the reality is, if I had actually stopped and eaten it, I probably would have regretted it five minutes later, and my longing for one would have been over. But the question remains, how do you eat healthy when you're out and about at all these summer festivals and summer carnivals? Uh, Judith Overslaw is a nurse and diabetes educator at Rochester General Hospital, and you are joining with, with some advice today, because mm. again, it's sort of become festival slash celebration of right. fried food at all yeah. of these events, which tastes yummy. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. But not, so, so no, not all the time. You. Yeah. They don't, they're probably not required weekend. to have those calorie counts like a lot of no, restaurants are. No, I don't think they are. Yeah. No, probably not. We probably wouldn't want to know what's in there either. Right. <laughs> but say so you got kids in tow, you know, yeah. how do you make it work? So I think you just have to work on strategies. Um, one, the biggest one, don't ever go hungry. Mm -hmm. um, try to go to a plant uh, time when you've maybe just eaten before. Um, always bring snacks with you. Um, bring plenty of fluids, especially water or low calorie drinks, mm -hmm. um, because the heat obviously makes you thirsty, which can also um, trigger hunger too. Ah, sure. Uh -huh. um, and I think you just have to kind of take everything in perspective and um, um, try to figure out your own goals. Um, work on the socialization part of the festival instead of always just about the food. Ah, like let's go in and see new things yeah. and, and, and learn about stuff. Right. I also like the, the tip you were sort of giving in the, you know, talk about it before you go mm -hmm. and say, all right, we have some expectations and some ground rules. Right, exactly. Yes. So I mean, you say to the, what do you say to the kids in the car? Just, um, you know, we're going to eat dinner. Um, we've maybe eaten dinner before. Let's just go and kind of see what's out there and maybe we can get dessert. Or if we're there for all day, um, you know, we plan a, we bring a meal and then order a meal. And then everybody has to decide on, you know, what vendor they want to go to. Mm -hmm. Oh, everyone decide on the mm -hmm. same. Which yeah. would cut down your options then too, yeah. probably. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also said, what, what, use, use Power Rangers, was it? Power Rangers. Let's see, was that, let's see. Saying, you know, they eat healthy. When rangers go to carnivals, they decide as a team on yeah. one special treat. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, and do it as a family. Definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah. That makes sense. Use, using what? Oh, look at this video. Everyone, everybody, absolutely <laughs> uh, loving it. Uh, the, I'm thinking, though, when you're, when you're packing healthy, you probably also have to be careful with how you pack mm -hmm. things. Hot. Right. And you're carrying it along. Mm -hmm. um, do Coolers. those Do those coolers or, like, those insulated bags. Do, do the job. Mm -hmm. I always wonder. Because you can always pack fruit. You can pack, pack excuse me. Um, you can always put fruit in the freezer and get it frozen, put it in the cooler. That'll stay cold. You pack um, the pack, the ice packs. Uh-huh. Um, cheese stays relatively good. Oh, it does? Yeah, it and then okay. vegetables, um, crackers, pretzels, um, all of those sort of um, goldfish, those types of mm -hmm. foods stay Mm -hmm. So it should be okay. I'm listening to when the, my daughter goes to a school now and we don't have refrigeration yeah. during the day. So I'm always right. like, okay, what's healthy for mm -hmm. is going to last? Peanut uh, butter. In the, in the summer heat, there you go too. Mm -hmm. I imagine, um, I know you look at it from the health side of things, but if you add it up monetarily, I imagine this is a way to save money too. <laughs> Could save money, yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, what about, you know, do you ever, is it okay to have the, the one splurge? Absolutely. Say, all right, we're going to yes. try this out. Mm -hmm. You have to, otherwise you're going to, um, the next festival, you might um, say, well, I'm just going to do whatever I wanted to do because I couldn't do it the last time. Mm -hmm. You know, and kids have to be um, families, kids, adults. You have to have um, certain splurges, mm -hmm. you know. You have to just kind of look at your goals. I mean, one one bad item is not going to dictate your whole day. <laughs> no. So. Well, what do you, I guess you have to, setting those ground rules, will that help when, you know, say your child's walking through and she says or he says, I want what that girl's mm -hmm. having. And right. You know, well, that's not, that's not okay in our family. Yeah. <laughs> Does that well, work? I think um, what you have to just say is, you know, had... So say they say you just ate, and then your child walks by and says, "Oh, I want that." Well, honey, honey, I don't think you're really hungry. Let's walk for a little bit, and then think about it and divert their attention, especially if they're little, because anything that they see, they're going to want. Yeah. <laughs> so you just have to do that. That's the truth. You know, so you just kind of have to figure out where they're at. You know, right. I've, obviously it's been three hours since they've eaten. They're probably hungry. Okay. They need a snack. So planning ahead, shopping mm -hmm. ahead, and packing mm -hmm. right. Yes. Good reminder. Thank and, you. And um, there are websites, apps. Oh, we got 10 oh. seconds. You want to give one? Yeah. GoMeals.com. GoMeals.com. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it has, it's Calorie King. It has a lot.